All right, so one of the other requirements that our hotel's content type has is a video of the surrounding area and YouTube videos that guests have uploaded and allowed the hotel to use. Of course, there's also the traditional tour videos for each hotel. So we need a video field and we need to embed the video into our content so that users can just watch the video right on our site. Well, there happens to be a great module called Video Embed Field, and it's at drupal.org slash project slash video underscore embed underscore field. As I mentioned in the previous video, a lot of modules aren't ready yet, and indeed this one is just in RC3, but we're going to install it anyway. It's in the green, and just as a reminder, any modules that you do want to install should always come from the green area. We covered all of that in the beginner class, so again, I encourage you to watch that as a refresher. All right, so what does this module do? Well, it does exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to embed video right in a node or in a block. It allows you to embed videos from all of those. YouTube and Vimeo come packaged with the module and the others are add-ons. Well, you know how to install a module Go ahead and right click on the tar or the zip for the Drupal 8 version of this module. Head back over to your site, click on extend and install new module and paste. Click enable newly added modules and scroll down to the fields box and go ahead and install the video embed field. Its only requirement is the field module, which of course we have installed. Click install. And of course, if I needed to know how to configure this module correctly, I would, well, read the documentation. There's no other way around getting to know what a module does. Well, fortunately I've done that. And the only thing we need to worry about here is managing the display. Let's go and add a field to our hotel content. So structure, content types, and now you see the advantage of the admin toolbar. I can quickly hover, hover and get to where I want to go. Hotels and manage fields. Let's add a video field. Click add field. And when I click on the add a new field dropdown, you'll see under media, there's a video embed. And we'll call this hotel video. Click Save and Continue. We'll limit the videos to one. Click Save. And we really don't need to worry, except for down here. If we click in one of these, it would restrict it to just those. If we don't choose any, then any provider that is listed here can be used. Click Save Settings. All right. Let's update one of our content items. Click on Content. And let's go all the way to the end and find our hotel Drupal and edit it. Go ahead and grab a YouTube video. Any YouTube video will do. I'm going to paste the first video from our Drupal 8 beginner class and go ahead and save and keep published. All right, let's take a quick peek at that and see what it did without any configuration. All right, so not bad. We've got black bars across the top, so that configuration must be somewhere, as well as, of course, we have the label. Let's go and fix that. Structure, content types, hotels, and manage display. So you'll see here with the hotel video, we can get rid of the label, and we have either an embed the video or have a thumbnail. If it's a thumbnail, then we get to choose what the thumbnail style will be, and where we should link that image to. Provider URL is where you would want to link an image, so it would open up in a window and take you to, say, YouTube. Uh, I don't want that. I definitely want to embed it. So I'm going to change thumbnail to video, and I'm going to come across to my gear. It's going to autoplay. I'm going to turn that off for sure. I'm going to make it responsive so it fills the width of the container, adjusting to the size of the user's screen, so it's going to work 
on any device and it will therefore ignore the height and the width. Click Update and click Save. Now when I go back over to my content and take a look at Hotel Drupal, nicely formatted with 100% width and of course it's completely responsive. Very nice. And that's the video embed module, giving us amazing functionality with hardly any work at all.